everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Lauren of Lauren Makes Plans and today I'm here to share with you my planner cake haul for the month of May. So I'm especially excited to be sharing this haul video with you um, this month because um, probably a little over a week ago, I got an email that I was actually approved to be an affiliate for Planner Kate. So I'm super excited about that. Um, there is a link to shop in the description and a coupon code, just like there have always been. But the difference is now that it is going to be my affiliate link and my affiliate coupon code. So you can shop using my link and you can get 20% off of your order using code Lauren Makes Plans. Um, I'm super excited to be a part of Planner Kate's team. And just a small disclaimer that if you do choose to shop with my link, I may earn a small commission off of your purchase and that is at no additional cost to you. But um, I'm super excited about that and super excited to show you what I purchased to use in my planner coming up in the month of May. I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. So first I have the little freebies that you always get with your order. Um, you will get six little freebie sheets with every order that you place with Planner Kate and up in the top corner it will tell you what sheet number the sticker is if you just really love a sampler that you get and want to order a full sheet of them. This is how you know to do that. So this is sheet V21 which is some scalloped boxes. Font A, so this says search F, so if you want to find um, other scripts, other words in this font, you would search F for the font sheets, and then this is font A. This is V53, which are some water trackers. This is sheet month 140 and 141, so these are different um, like bill stickers. V56, which are some um, ombre checks, check box half boxes. And sheet S839, which are the watercolor weather stickers. Also, I apologize for the lighting seems a little weird to me. If it seems weird to you, it's super rainy, overcast, kind of gross outside today, so it's making my lighting super weird. Also, the pollen has hit North Carolina hard, and you can probably tell in my voice, so sorry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what I actually ordered. So first, I ordered a few extra sheets. I got a couple sheets of some black and white icons that um, I use or have wanted to use or have been meaning to purchase or different things like that pretty frequently. So I got the sheet BW17, which are the little books, which if you've watched my plan with me, you've seen me say, I really need to order the full sheet of those books because I've been using them kind of like as little um, Bibles to mark for like Bible study and revival and different things like that. I got um, sheet BW11 which are the crosses for other church related things. And then I got BW7, which are the baseballs, because um, if you haven't been following along, my four year old started his first year of T-ball this year. And what else does a planner mom do besides order a whole sheet of baseball stickers for T-ball? The next thing I'll jump into are the kits that I got. So I'll start with the monthly kit that I ordered, which is kit 520. And I use an A5 compact vertical life planner from Erin Condren. So I ordered the sheets that um, correspond with that planner. So these sheets are for the EC A5 coil bound planner. There is a different sheet number that you would need to order for either a 7x9 Erin Condren or an Erin Condren A5 ring bound. This is the A5 coil bound. And I love, love this kit so much. The peaches, it's so cute. 
I've been really into this peach color lately for some reason, and it looks so good with this dark green. I am obsessed with this kit. So I got monthly sheet one, monthly sheet two, which also comes with these boxes here that are meant to fill in the days on your monthly calendar that are not a part of that month. And then like the full boxes and just some extra labels. And then I also got the dashboard sheet, which I just think is so cute. Again, with the peaches and this like dark green gingham situation. And this striped box is just the cutest thing I've ever seen. So that is my monthly kit. All right, so as far as weekly kits go, um, I got four weekly kits this month because for the month of May, there are four weekly spread pages between the months, which depending on how the days fall and all of that, um, they're Sometimes there are five, but this month there are four. So I got four weekly kits. Planner Kate always comes out with five different kit options for the month. Two of them are always full kit options. And full kit options include all the sheets that you can get typically for a weekly, but then they also will include options to purchase a monthly kit and the budget stickers and all of that that coordinate. So two of the kits have all of these options. The other three are considered mini kits because you can get all of the weekly options, but you cannot get monthly kits and budget kits and things like that in the mini kits. So for the month of May, I really loved four of the five, which is typical, which really works out well for me because, you know, usually if I just need to order four kits for a month, then I just pick the four that I love and that's fine. But with the month of May, it's kind of interesting because that's when Planner Kate releases the Memorial Day kit is in May. And I love the Memorial Day kit and I will use it for Memorial Day week. But because of the way that the Erin Condren planners fall, it's kind of odd. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So because of the way the Erin Condren planners fall, you have your four weeks for the month of May. But Memorial Day this year is on May 29th. So you get through the 21st. No, you don't. You get through the 28th in your Erin Condren weekly spreads and then it's the June tab. And then you turn the pages and here is Memorial Day and Memorial Day week because the 1st of June is on Thursday and Memorial Day is on Monday. This whole Memorial Day week falls behind the June tab. So I did not order the Memorial Day kit with my May stickers because I will not need it until I'm behind the June tab. And so that kit will go in my June order. Hopefully that all makes sense. So out of the five kits that she released for the month of May, I did not purchase the Cinco de Mayo kit and I did not purchase the Memorial Day kit because I mean, Cinco de Mayo is just not really my thing. And then um, Memorial Day kit, I'm not going to order until June. So I have three of the kits that released for the month of May. And then I have one kit that released in the month of June that is released technically under the month of June kits because I will be using a May kit in June. So I'm going to use a June kit in May. That was a lot of words to tell you that I only ordered three kits from the May release and one kit from the June release. Hopefully that all makes sense to you. If not, I guess it doesn't really matter because it makes sense to me and all of these kits are available on Planner Kate's website. So first I'm going to show you the kits that technically fall under the May release kits. So this is mini kit 523, which is the Mother's Day kit and I love this one so much. It's probably one of my favorite Mother's Day kits that Planner Kate has released as long as I've been using her stickers. Typically, the Mother's Day kits are very pastel, very floral, very flowery, which I really like, but this one I feel like just speaks to me. It's like this is, this kit is like, this is my, my whole vibe. It's like 
we see you over there. Thank you so much for that because I love this kit. So I have the, um, just like the normal kind of things that I normally get. I got the bottom box fill-in, which this month I actually ordered a little different. I've been getting the one with the habit tracker, but I've been getting the one that had the checklist at the top. And this month I ordered the ones that had the days of the week. I'm thinking that I might start like tracking um, my steps in a day or something like that on those. So that's what I got for this month um, is this is the, there are four different options of this and this is 4D. So this is like the, the fourth option. If you're looking for it on the drop down, it would be sheet D of these sheets. And then I also got, like usual, I got the, um, for the compact vertical kit, I got the timed appointment labels. I got the dash labels. I got the large script stickers because I've been loving this weekend sticker and I've used these a lot in my daily duo. And then here's the compact vertical sampler sheet which this washi is the reason I love this one so, so much. It says mama all over it. It's like a navy blue background with all of the, the floral in the mama. I love that so much. And then I got both sheets of the journaling kit for my daily duo. Again, with this kit, with this mama up here and then these washi strips. It says best mom down here. Like... This kit is just, I love it so much. So those are journaling sheet one and two. And then for this month, I went back to the Daily Duo strip headers and dates um, instead of what I did for last month for April was I just ordered the two sheets of the journaling kit. I did not get this sheet. I got these two sheets and then I got the skinny washi strips and I got the Week at a Glance sheet. And I really liked the Week at a Glance sheet, but I feel like I don't look as look at that as often as I look at the daily pages. And I like the look of these headers on my daily pages a little bit more than what I have done for the month of April. So I, I enjoyed trying that out for April, but I think I'm gonna stick with this for right now and just kind of use all of these things together in my daily duo. The next kit I ordered for the month of May is kit 521 so this one is not a mini kit this one is a full kit so you can get this one in the monthly sheets in the um the budget sheets all of those things because this one is a full kit and again i just have all the same sheets that i had before here's the bottom box mostly this you just see like the color changes on it and the appointment labels I really like the colors in this one. It's very, it, this is more of the pastel kind of vibe. It's really pretty. I really like this peach color in here. For some reason, I've just like really been drawn to this color lately. I don't know what it is. There's the dash labels. This weekend banner is so pretty. Love this one with the large script stickers. Here is the compact vertical sampler sheet. Honestly, this plaid washi strip is not my favorite thing um, in this kit, but I love the colors in this kit so much, and I love this full box. Like, those stripes are so cute. And the colors on the compact, or on the journaling sheets are so cute, too. I, like, this box is so pretty. Like, I, I, like this pattern more than I like this one, but the colors of it all just make up for it. And then again with the Daily Duo um, strips and headers. And then the last one from the officially May launch kits is kit 520, which is the same as the monthly kit that I showed you um, it's the, the peachy themed one. So here is the bottom box. And again with the colors on this one. I don't know what it is with me and this peach color. But it's totally my vibe right now. And the dark green is just my favorite thing. I love this. And then the 
dash labels. Ooh, look how pretty that green color is. Love that. And the large script stickers. I love the, the weekend banners are just so cute. I love those. And the compact vertical sampler sheet, again, with some of the same patterns that were on the monthly kit and the journaling kits, sheet one and two. Maybe I love this pattern so much because it just takes me back like to the mountains. I, you know, I grew up in, in East Tennessee and I spent a lot of time in the Smoky Mountains, the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area growing up and you can't rent a cabin and stay up there and not see this pattern in this color somewhere. And that may be why I love that so much because it reminds me of that. And then again, you have the Daily Duo strips and headers. And then the one kit that I ordered that technically is under the June release is mini kit 527. So this is a strawberry themed kit. And the reason I picked, I kind of, I kind of go through and look at them and pick if I have to cross one over from a month like this, I'll go through and pick and be like, okay, this one gives me the most May vibes. I don't really know what that means. I don't know what May vibes are. I don't know what promotes me to think that these pink strawberries are more May than June, but that's just the feel I got off of it. So that's why I picked this one of, of the five June kits that were released that I chose one to move to May. But here's the bottom box, the timed appointment labels, the dash labels. This green is really pretty. I don't feel like the camera has it like it doesn't look it's much more like bright like kelly green looking in person almost i think and the large script stickers the compact vertical sampler sheet i like this plaid much more than i like the plaid off the main kit for some reason i don't really know why but i do and the strawberries are really cute Oh, and here's the Daily Duo sheet. I really like this green washi strip here. And the journaling kits for those two. So that is it for this haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you click the notification bell so you know when I post new videos on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.